Ladies and, uh, well, welcome to Game War, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode 6 of WWE 2K22 Universe Moe. This is the show before money in the bank. We have the Intercontinental Champion, King Nakamura, here on SmackDown, the Intercontinental Champion, and this will be a great SmackDown, because in the main event tonight, it's the final of the four qualifying matches for Money in the Bank with two mystery opponents in that match which I am very excited about but who will King Nakamura's opponent be? Let's head and to the match and find out. Ooh, and look at this! Very interesting for King Nakamura. It's the one and only he calls himself winner. He calls himself Happy Corbin. AKA known as Baron Corbin, former US champion. And he is actually also was known as Baron Corbin, but he was a homeless man, but now he is Happy Corbin. But can he get a win over the Intercontinental Champion tonight on SmackDown? Let's find out. And here we go, matchup underway. And I have gone as Happy Corbin. Try Oh, and a clothesline onto the self-proclaimed king of WWE. And look at, look at Shin, I mean, not Shin game, but King Nakamura. And big suplex onto the Intercontinental Champion. Oh, and a nice takedown by Nakamura. And a clothesline right onto Happy Corbin. And look at Nakamura into the corner. And oh god. Oh my god. That was intense. But look at Nakamura just standing there. Getting Corbin some offense in there. And oh nice move there. Close line again to the Intercontinental Champion. And look at Corbin. Trying to, he really wants that gold. He really wants to win a piece of gold in the WWE. He did before with the United States Championship, but hasn't touched gold since that U.S. title run he had back in 2017. And he just falls flat, Nakamura. Oh, and a strike straight to the head of the self-proclaimed king. And takes down Happy Corbin. Oh, and a kick to the back. And another. Look at Nakamura now. Oh, nice reversal there. And Happy Corbin taking down the champion. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, look at this. No, Nakamura with a reversal. On the Shinsuke. I mean, not on, on the Happy Corbin. My bad. And look at Nakamura with an arm bar right on to Happy Corbin. And, ooh, a takedown. But Nakamura now. Uh-oh, right on the head of Happy Corbin. And just punches on to Happy Corbin. But look at... Look at Chitsuke now. Oh! Try to go for the uh, signature, but reverses it. Oh my god! But look at Happy Corbin now. What could he be calling for here? He calls it the end of days! Here's the cover on the King Nakamura! No! A kick out! by Nakamura at two. How in the world did Nakamura kick out of the end of, no one kicks out of the end of days. That has, has to be a first in wrestling history in Baron Corbin's career. Uh oh, uh oh. 
Jokes! Go away! Right under the knee, right under the back of Nakamura. And now, the end of. No! Gonna try to go over the end of days, but Nakamura reversed it. And could Nakamura go for the Kinshasa? Uh oh. This could be looking bad! Oh, try to go for the Kinshasa! But reversed by Happy Corbin. Oh my god. I can't believe what I I can't believe it. And close line into the corner. And now the foot to the freaking face. Oh, and a reversal by Happy Corbin. And to the back of, of Nakamura and now another reversal reversing the choke slam and now Nakamura is just demolishing King I mean not King Happy Corbin and now going for the end of days onto the King cover two no again the kick out at two that's the second end of days on the king nakamura and he just reversed it i can't believe it and now happy corbin with the oh my lord that was intense and happy corbin now Ooh. And look at Happy Corbin trying. Look at this. The end of days for a third time. Under the Intercontinental Champion. Here's the cover to Happy Corbin with a win. Could that be what we see at Money in the Bank? Let's take another look at some of the action. That was intense. What a matchup these two put on. Like, and Happy Corbin just defeated the Intercontinental Champion. But let's head to the next match on SmackDown. And here comes the Universal Champion, the head of the table, the Tribal Chief. Roman Reigns, obviously not with Paul Heyman. This is crazy. Holding that tail for over a year since payback 2020. And he is still... Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's Jericho. That's Jericho. What the... Why? Well, that was definitely something interesting for sure. But now it is time for SmackDown's main event. Uh, and uh, uh, it is the one and only Ricochet. Two-time United States Champion. A former North American Champion. This will be a... Great win for Ricochet as this is the final qualifying match for the Money in the Bank ladder match. And it's going to be a six-man ladder match. I just prefer the six-man ladder matches more than the eight-man ladder matches. I think eight is way too much for Money in the Bank ladder match. So six is what it is. But so far, it is Rey Mysterio, Edge, AJ Styles. And the winner of Ricochet versus his opponent tonight. And so it is this man. People say that he needs a world title reign. And people are right. So this is who Ricochet will be facing. It's going to be a tough challenge for this man. As Cesaro. He has been in a Money in the Bank ladder match, but he is a former United States Champion, 
former Intercontinental Champion, Raw Tag, Tag Team Tag Champion, Team but he has never been at the top of the mountain champion. for that world title. And if he can win tonight, then that will put Cesaro in a perfect spot. So let's head into the main event of SmackDown. And here we go. Matchup no underway, and I am gone as a Ricochet, who will be a oh, and a nice drop kick right onto Cesaro, and look at Ricochet. Oh, and the knees up, the knees up, and look at Cesaro, big boots, right on the Ricochet, and Cesaro. Really wanting to be in the Money the Big ladder match. And oh, and a nice hit some jury by Ricochet. What a move that was by the man. Oh, and knees in the gut of Ricochet. That is intense. And look at Ricochet. Could be in trouble. Takes down. Ricochet is Cesaro. And look at Cesaro now. Oh, nice move there. And a drop kick into that turnbuckle. Oh, my God. That was intense. And, but Cesaro with the reversal. Cesaro. What in the world? He is just defying the laws of gravity. Oh, my God. But look at Ricochet now. With Cesaro up on the shoulders, takes down Cesaro, cover on Cesaro, no, and a kick out at two. Oh my god. But look at, look at Ricochet. Oh, and a 360 senton. Maybe that's it. No, and a kick out at one. At one. What in the world? But look at Ricochet now. And no. Cesaro with a reversal. Cesaro with a reversal on Ricochet. That's intense. And oh. Oh, my God. And oh, Ricochet with a nice reversal there. And Cesaro taken down. Cesaro has to be in trouble here. He has got to be in trouble, but Cesaro reverses that little set top flip. Uh, to, uh oh. Cesaro. Neutralizer on the Ricochet. Here's the cover. On the one and only one, two and a kick out by Ricochet at two. How did he kick out of that? I don't know how he kicked out, but we know. Uh oh. The Cesaro Swiss swing. I can't believe this. And takes down Ricochet. But Rick. Could exactly be in a world of trouble. No! No, he is not! It takes down Cesaro! Cover one! Two! Three! And Ricochet moves on to money in the bank! What a match this was for sure! And Ricochet celebrating his win! But oh! Look at this! What's. What is this? What a great, great sight of respect. Cesaro showing that work, showing that respect to Ricochet. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on the SmackDown Before Money in the Bank. And we will see you on episode 7 of, Mo of this WWE 2K22 Universe Mode. And we'll see you at Money. In the bank.